Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another vlog where we're doing get it all done with me. We're doing organizing, we're doing sorting, cleaning, we're doing some homeschooling. It's all the stuff that we've got to get done today and that I'm going to bring you along with me for. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. We have just moved in to our new home and I will link a playlist that explains exactly how we've managed to do that during lockdown, but I've got loads of kind of home organization kind of videos and things for you at the moment, as well as bead cleans, grocery hauls, that kind of thing. So hopefully you will enjoy all of that. I would love to have you as a subscriber. So I'm gonna start today by um, making the bed and showing you a little fabric deodorizer that you can make at home as well for your fabrics and soft furnishings and beds and things like that to make your home smell delicious. It started out like a movie scene. Something so the bed is made. I do feel like I need a couple of darker cushions, kind of this colour, to go in with all this as well. What do you think? I think that might kind of make it tie in a little better. My husband, by the way, thinks these cushions are pointless because I don't let him actually sleep on them. But I think they look pretty and, you know... But it's tough, I like them, we're saying. Um, I wanted to see if, what you thought about this. I bought this in my Shop With Me and Haul video in the range that I filmed before the world went mad. Now, I love it. It is the most soft, plush, beautiful blanket, but it doesn't quite cover the bed enough, you know? I feel like the throw should go all the way over the edge. So where can I get something, this kind of dusky pink color, but sort of big enough, wide enough for the bed. I mean, we can use that elsewhere. Bella's had her eye on it for ages. So if you've got any ideas, I'm all ears. Now in here, which I, where I've got some um, cleaning products and things, as you know, I like to have cleaning products where I can kind of grab them. I do need to put some cloths in here as well. So we've got some anti-back, we have got some uh, diluted zoo floor, we've got a duster, and this is what I wanted to show you today. Now this is my um, like DIY at home fabric refresher. So all it is is some drops of essential oil, whichever you, is your favorite. I've got lavender in here, um, as well as some bicarbonate of soda and put in with some boiling water and then left to cool. And then that, when sprayed on fabrics and things, deodorizes them. It's all natural. No harmful nasties, but it gets rid of smells and things. So it's just a nice way to make your sheets smell divine for when you kind of get back into them. So I'm just gonna give the whole bed a little spritz right now. So let me know if you want to uh, give some of that a go. I will link the blog post below that's got all the details of how to make it up exactly and where you can get the bottle and all that kind of stuff. So next job, I'm going to head downstairs and get some washing on. You know, I like to do that first thing in the morning. Um, and apologies in advance, because I get so many messages from you guys saying, I've just set your Alexa off. But Alexa, turn dressing table off. There you go. So let me know in the comments. If you've got an Alexa, does that set yours off when I say things like that? Apologies in advance, but it, I get so many messages from you all laughing because um, yours has been set off. And sometimes it knows what I'm talking about. Sometimes it says, you know, I say dressing table. It says, you don't have a dressing table or it does affect your dressing table. And sometimes it says totally random things. It doesn't recognize my voice. So does it learn our own voices? Is that, you know, like mine understands my voice and yours understands your voice? How do these things work? It's all very, you know, sci-fi robots taking over the world really, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just going to, I've already made Zara's bed. I'm gonna give hers a little spritz. I'm also going to gather up her dressing up clothes, which seem to be spilling out of her wardrobe everywhere. One of Zara's fa very favorite games actually is dressing up. Well, second only to emptying the dressing up clothes all over the floor. And straight out of magazine, I cross my No goal. 
The children have had breakfast with daddy and now it's time to clean your... So Will, can you get the little basket out of teeth things? I did show you guys this in my last video, but because we can't stand the toothbrushes upright in here, Darling, you have to brush your teeth or they'll all fall out. Wouldn't that be a shame? <laughs> anyway, because the toothbrushes can't stand up, um, to stop them touching each other, we've got these toothbrush covers in these little baskets, which make the, um, think will make the drawer easier to clean. Zaza, can we come and clean your teeth, please? I'm so pleased you found your Doc McStuffins things. Can we talk about it once you've cleaned your teeth? Good girl. Right, Zara, you need your step. You need your step because you were a bit short. Can you stand there? Yeah. Zero, but is it, you're not tall enough to go on an octonaut trail. Oh, Zara has grown to. William is a bit of um, yeah, uh, a roller coaster fan yeah. in, encyclopedia. I was going to say because you know all the heights for all the roller coasters in the country, don't you? Mama, oh, only a little bit. I can't. Okay, mummy will help. I don't like anyone. Can someone help Zaza with her toothbrush? Mama, I don't it's only a little squirt in the face, I think, on that one. You were talking about the Octonauts one in CBB Sands Mountain Towers. Well, I'm sure we'll go back there once all the lockdown has lifted and it's all less what? crazy. Oh, and since my last video, I've bought one of these, which sticks what? to the wall with glue and no tools, so it's fab. So this is shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And it will save having to take the shampoos and conditioners out of the shower. Because since I heard Marie Kondo took her shampoos out of the shower to stop and build up the grime and dirt, I've been doing that. And it is extra fat. But I also quite like that when you just dispense a little bit, it literally, you press the button, it only dispenses like a tiny amount. Because I feel like I used to waste a lot of shower gel and stuff just dispensing too much from the bottle. So I'll link that below if you fancy grabbing one of those. And in fact, while you lot clean your teeth, I'm going to show everyone one more thing as well. Yeah. Now, if you remember, I was keeping my hair dryer and hair straighteners in this, which was basically just fallen over every time I put my hair dryer in it because it was kind of off centre. Now, one of you lovely people recommended this in the comments of one of my videos, so I went for it and bought Mama, one. Mama, I love I it. Be in it. You want to be in it. Okay, of course you do. Of course you do. Well, we'll brush your hair in a second. Anyway, I'm just really pleased with this because it's sturdy. It's like it's not going to fall over. It's sort of heat protecting. I do actually um, wrap my hair straighteners in this heat protection mat, which protects. I mean, I probably don't need it on glass. Not sure, but I did need it on my old dressing table in the old house, and it's good for travel and things as well. So I'll link that below as well. But I just. I think that's really neat. It would quite easily go up there, but I'm quite liking keeping that quite clear. By the way, if you're wondering what that pink light is up there, that was a spare one that we found in the old house. We've not yet chosen a light fitting for this bedroom. So if you've got any bright ideas what we can put in there, my husband just literally bunged that up rather than having a hanging bulb. But we do need inspiration for what to put up there because that pink thing cannot stay, let's face it. Anyway, I'll link that below. I will link the hair straightener mat below. I will not link that below. No one wants one of those today, let's face it. Guys, come and have, come and brush your hair, come on. I can't. I can't brush my hair. I can't brush Why can't you, darling? Because you've got a red thing. Come and show me the red thing. I can't. You can't walk because of the red thing. Oh. You were walking a minute ago, come on. Is this the red thing that Bella just pointed out on your ankle? Right, what is the matter? Let me see. Show me the red thing. Um, oh dear, how have you done that? Yeah, stop, don't yeah. Okay, let's put a plaster on it. Shall we put a plaster on it? Yeah. Come on then. I think we can walk, can't we? Yeah, I can walk. You're so brave. Sit down and mummy will find you a plaster. Oh. Plasters! How did you do this red thing, Saz? I don't know. You don't know? I mean, in all fairness, until Bella pointed out the red thing, you didn't know it was there, did you? We do like having character plasters, don't we, that have sort of collected the years. No, I think you, you don't want Star, Star Wars. Which other ones do you want? No, oh, that's like a boring Star kind. Wars. Which kind do you want, baby? Let me show you more. You would like Paw Patrol. More Paw Patrol. Which one? Want... Sky, is it? Look, she says I can have one of these two, maybe. Which one, baby? Show mummy. Mm. That one. Okay, we'll put it on your foot. 
Well, is your foot better now you've got a sky plaster on it? Yeah. Should, we, should we have a look at it? Too. It's very nice. See? Oh, you've got found more sky plasters. Oh, yeah, no, they're they frozen ones. Yeah. They're frozen ones. So just tell mummy, did you know about the red cat that made you unable to walk until Bella pointed it out? Yeah. Did you? Because I thought the first you heard of it was when Bella pointed it out. And then suddenly you knew about it and you couldn't walk. Is that true? So this is... Right, let's brush your hair and then we'll go down and do homeschool, okay? Okay, now I, now I can, now I, now I, now you can brush my hair. Okay, good idea. No, 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 don't need no pills to get Beautiful. My face, Mum, is looking so much better. It is looking so much better, isn't it? Zara has had trouble with her face, haven't you? Round here. It goes really, really dry, but what happens, what do you do to it? You, you pick it, don't you? You mustn't pick it and lick it. But I tell you what you do like. I keep giving these to you and you lose them. We'll see if I open another one. You quite like putting lip balm on like makeup, don't you? No, I no, I got I got one in my in my I know, but you mug. keep you keep losing it, don't you? So should we open another one to so leave in mummy's room for you? No, don't use it, Mummy. Well, you've got one in your room, and we'll leave this one for you in Mummy's room, so Mummy at least knows where one is. Okay? Right, let's pop it. I one. know where my, my, the other one is. Ready? Look at beautiful. Ooh, gorgeous girl. If we just keep this nice and soft. We had some medicated cream from the doctor. Oh, and that made it go away. But really, it's just very, very dry. I mean, I have got, like, crazy dry skin. Doesn't I, Dara? Mummy's skin's really dry. I put lip balm on. Ew, on I don't face, like that smell. Oh, the smell of this one. The other one you had was, oh, this is vitamin E and peppermint. You don't like that, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You don't like the peppermint one. Okay. Should we wipe it off and get the strawberry one instead? Yeah. Oh, darling. Okay. So the peppermint one, I bought a pack of them. The peppermint one is not going down well. Yeah. Okay. Should we get, okay. <laughs> Right, well, we won't use that one again. Mummy will use that one. Shall we, Mummy just use the peppermint one. Okay, don't be so sad. Shall I, shall we go and get your strawberry one and put that one on instead? Shall Mummy get, <laughs> get like smell? Oh, maybe. Come on, don't cry. Right, shall I put the strawberry one on? Will that smell better? Yeah. Right, let's go and look for the strawberry one. You stay there, I'll go and get it. Out of the pack, My the Burt's Bees. Purple. You do like strawberry, you do not like peppermint. Look at mine, mine is purple. Oh, yours is Sparkling. purple, Bella. Right, so, oh, that's better. Mm. That smells like strawberry, smell that. Is that better? Is it better, baby? Oh, that's better. Better? Smell it now. Don't smell this. Mom. You still smell the stinky one. Do you like mine? It will go. You look beautiful. It's stinky. You don't like the purple one? Mm -hmm. Like my lips, they look more red. Uh, do they? Mm -hmm. My lips. It will go, baby. It will go. Should we go down and do homeschool? Should we go and do homeschool? It's wiped off. Okay. We can still smell the smell. Okay, let's go and do homeschool, okay? No, don't lick it because it'll make it worse. Don't lick it. Mm. Just keep putting this one on. Keep putting it this one on and it will get rid of it. Okay. I'm keeping mine with me. Come on then, let's go down to the office to do homeschool. Mm. Now, William is just working on some uh, tasks that has been set by his teacher in school for his digital online learning. Zara is making a beautiful picture with stickers and pens and Bella is waiting very patiently while I try to log on to some of the stuff that's been set by her teacher. But we're having some technical issues, aren't we? Yeah. Mummy's having some technical issues. Yeah. Well, you're being very patient. Why don't you do a little colouring like Zara's doing while you wait for Mummy to fix this? And then very soon, once we've done this block, we've got ballet lesson on Zoom. Well, I think we've overcome our technical issues and we've managed to log Bella in. Sarah, what's the matter? Well, would you like me to print you out some more worksheets? Okay. So, you are only three, aren't you? Mum, I scrambled up the first one. Why did you scramble it? Because Bella made it into a big fan and I didn't like it. Let's see. Why don't you draw me a beautiful rainbow while I fetch you some more worksheets? I can't. 
Why not? I'm not very good at doing that. You are so good at doing I'm rainbows. Not. You can draw beautiful rainbows. I'm, I can't. I can I help you? a line one. Well, do a line one then, a flat rainbow. I don't rainbow. want to do a line one. Okay, what do you want to do? I just want to do a normal one. I thought we might look for some Doc McStuffins colouring to do. Because you're really obsessed with Doc McStuffins at the moment. Would you like me to get you a Doc no. McStuffins colouring sheet? No. no. No? I tell you what you are very good at. And sorry, she's been really, really good at this. <laughs> These are wipe clean books. But your pen control is becoming excellent after Mom, doing these, isn't I it? Use you can use whichever colour you want. So you do some work. of these and then we'll do I some... Can't. Oh, there we go. One. Yeah, well, that, you, you're just drawing ones and everything, yeah? I'm not sure that's what you're supposed to do. One. Can you draw over these letters? Can you trace over them? Okay. One. You are writing number one in all of that. I'm just not sure that's what you've got to do. One. Well done. Yeah. Good drawing of one. one. Can you trace over these letters? Which letter is this? One. Eh, 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 eh. Can you Mama, trace over the letter? Which one is eh, eh, easier? Eh, 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 and no, that one isn't easier. Which one is easier? This. Wow. Not a capital eh, eh, eh. Yeah. It's another eh. Good it's, work, Saz. Easier. Eh for easy, is that? Good work, good work. Good work, guys. Anyway, while they are kind of getting on with those tasks and before we have ballet, I am going to attempt to just kind of log in, check my emails and stuff and see if I've got any sort of urgent worky stuff I need to get on with. And then once we've done kind of this block of learning, we've done some ballet, hopefully my husband can have them for a little bit so I can get on with a little bit of sorting because I feel like if I don't chip away at the house and kind of do some sorting every day, we're never gonna complete this move. And I really just want it all sorted and done as soon as possible. So that hopefully by the time lockdown lifts and the children go back to school, we are sorted and organized, that is a dream. Now it's time for Zara's ballet lesson. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me Zara is doing her ballet. I am going to attempt to clean this window, which my husband um, kind of muddied up with cleaning products because it was very warm in here. Um, and before we moved in, it set the alarm off because the heat was coming in or something. So he muddied it up with this, and the children have just been drawing on it. So I am going to clean it so that we can get out of it again. Your heart is beating fast and you're sweating. You can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love Sarah just announced that she wanted to plaster off and then immediately decided she wanted another plaster. So we're going into our broken human kit to find one. I don't know where she came from Upside down, I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night with her, spring one of my t shirts so it smells like her perfume. While I've got the glass cleaner, I may as well do my hob and that, as well as the fridge and the cooker. When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love
go, a nice quick job done. Now I've promised the children a snack. I do keep snacks up in this cupboard. Ranging from, you know, not too bad snacks to don't judge me kind of snacks not for mummy. Um, so they have asked for some fruity stars. They can have a little bag of these because they have been good this morning and Zara was really good doing her ballet. I picked these up in one of my recent grocery hauls. They are nice, they kind of look like sweets. They say they're made from fruit. I don't know, they're a good compromise as a treat anyway, aren't they? Um, but other things we have in here as snacks, we have got fruity yogurt things, we've got raisins, and these are kind of snacks I pull out for away from the table, because um, at the table with every meal, the children do tend to have um, carrot sticks and fruit, things like apple slices and stuff, um, to kind of supplement their meal. So these kind of, less healthy options and more for less free versions away from the table now the children are working through some things they've been set by the school so william you're working through oh you've actually gone to a game place in yours have you earned a certain amount of eggs or something yeah yeah i'm buying a green sink right okay do you think perhaps we could get back yeah, on to doing some work i will because there we go and yeah, bella what are you what have you got to this was my this was my school I'm level 102 house. that's lovely oh there we go fantastic you're well, level 102 to do with, with my test there we go to level 101 that's brilliant bella which lesson are you on darling um what are you learning about in yours in your reading mm -hmm. game letters letters fantastic and zara do you, have you learnt anything? Yeah. Yeah. Quite often we're doing a lot of worksheets and workbooks and things. But today it's kind of about the stuff they've been sent by the school to do digitally because we've been um, kind of neglecting that a little bit. So I thought we would give it a go now. And there's some really nice systems actually. The school have um, invested in a few different programs for them to log into, which are really interactive and really interesting for them. And they sort of feel like games anyway. Um, and there's also a few um, sort of nationally available things that you can download um, and access. Um, I have actually got a blog post, which I will link below, all about different resources and things that you can use if you are homeschooling, um, both online things and downloadable things, printable things and things that you can uh, buy on Amazon and things as well. So I will link all that below if that is of interest. Well, look, we just arrived. Thank you. <laughs> Good boy. Shall mummy wash it to put on your bed? Yes, please. Would you like that? Are you going to snuggle up in that later? <laughs> I don't think you like Star Wars. You've got ballerinas and princesses and all sorts. I'm not sure you're first on Star Wars, though. Um, I want more like Star Wars. You like Star Wars now, do you? Yeah. I see. Cutie Star Wars. Cutie Star Wars. I see. Well, let's what, let's give it a wash and pop it on your bed. It's like Star Wars emojis. Very cool. You don't like Star Wars. No, you don't. We collide. We break down. Caving in to our doubts. Faces filled with sadness. When words are said. I am putting the duvet cover inside the matching pillowcase mm. to keep all of that neatly together for next time. Mm. And that goes into the relevant person's box, and that one's called the teenager. And over here, so we've got a box each for all of our dry stuff, and then this is for our wet stuff doesn't go in the tumble dryer that needs drying. And we finally managed to bring the children's toy kitchen and all their excessive amounts so of play food over from the other house. I do actually think it goes quite well with our kitchen, better than with our old house really. So what are you making for mummy's art? Um, Can I have something? Yeah. What are you going to cook for me? You can cook some grapes. Yeah. With anything? Can you cook anything? Yeah. What are you going to cook? Oh lovely, what have I got? Going in the oven, is that? 
No, it isn't going in. Put it, you can put it in the microwave. There's space in there. The oven seems to be chocker full of stuff. Are you going to press the buttons? Beep, 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 beep. Is it ready? Yes. Did you mix it? Did yeah. you do any stirring? No, I didn't do any stirring. Maybe you should stir it. I can't mm. do it. I can't actually do it. Why can't you actually do it? Because there's too much stuff. Oh. Just Can I have some for dinner then? Are you going to yes, put it on a plate? Of course. But I'd like it on a plate. Hmm. And what have you made me? Um, this. What is it? Um, it is cheese, yep. grapes, apple and cats. Delicious. Thank you, darling. Quite you the chef. Some juice? Oh, yes, please. Do, would you like some campy juice? Campy juice? What's campy yeah. juice? You tried that juice, remember? Oh, oh, from the juicer? Yeah. Mmm, yummy. Come on, I'll have it in this glass. Okay, in that glass. Thanks. Can you pour it for me? Thank you. Mm. I'm sending you Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Zaz. You washing your hands ready for lunch? Yeah, Mr. Tap. With Mr. Tap. Come on then. Scrub, Mr. scrub, scrub, Soap. and then we'll dry them. And Mr. Who? Mr. Soap. Mr. Soap. Well, I'm glad Mr. Tap and Mr. Soap are helping you. I have now left the children having lunch downstairs with my husband and I've come upstairs to sort out uh, this basket of Zara stuff. Now, let me explain what I'm gonna do. Now, in Bella's room, I store the girls' clothes. I think I might have talked about this before, but I store the clothes that they have got uh, that are kind of in pairs. So when I dress the girls, and they're not in school uniform, they're home from school, and they are both home from school, then they wear matching clothes. I will do this as long as I can get away with it, which I don't think I'll have very long left before one or both of them goes, I'm not doing that anymore. So I'll do it as long as I can get away with it. So they are the clothes, the kind of current clothes that they wear together. Now, as you can imagine, I've also got a lot of clothes for Zara that Bella has grown out of. So they are either clothes that I bought for Bella before Zara was born, or the bigger versions of the matching clothes that they used to wear when Zara was a baby and Bella was Zara's age, which is three. Although Zara was younger than Bella when she was wearing those because she was bigger than Zara is. Am I talking riddles or are you with me? Anyway, so in here, in the top of Zara's room, as well as some of her school uniform, I've got the clothes that she will wear when she is home from school and Bella is in school because she's only half days when school, you know, is a thing that exists. She's only half days and she wasn't going in every day because she was so tired. She was needing naps some days and she's in afternoon nursery. So on days where I had Zara home on her own and Bella in school, she's wearing those clothes. So I don't want to overstuff this wardrobe um, and it's got some spare uniform in it and it's got some summery clothes. So out of this basket of clothes, that will fit Zara. I need to sort through what is kind of current and summery to go into her wardrobe and what is kind of wintery that may or may not fit her um, when the winter comes around, depending on how much she grows because she's quite dirty, she's quite little. And um, so I need to put some of that and I'm gonna put some of that in packing cubes under my ottoman bed. So that's my job for right now. So while I'm doing this little task, I thought I would chat to you about a question I have had a lot. But first, I'm just gonna grab some packing cubes. Aha, packing cubes. I hope I've got enough of these left now for all of Zara's bits and pieces that are the wrong season. And then when the winter comes around, I'll get them out and see whatever fits her and doesn't fit her. And I will donate the stuff that doesn't fit her anymore. Anyway, a question I have been having a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, is why did we move? Is it a smaller house? What's that all about? Why would we move to a smaller house? There's a long-ish story, which I shall try and keep as concise as I can. Basically, when we only had two children, we made a decision that we wanted to move a little bit closer to my husband's family. And this was when my eldest, who's called Dylan, by the way, I do call him the teenager a lot, 
this is another question actually let's get do this one then we'll go back to the other question why do i call him the teenager um he's not first on being in my videos as you have probably noticed um, i re referred to him as the teenager once as just like an off the cuff thing his friends picked up on it and it was a bit of a joke it became this kind of joke between us and he kind of liked it i think on the quiet um so basically i do it as a sort of a very like a nod to respecting his privacy by not using his name obviously i do occasionally use his name but that is why he is referred to as the teenager more often than not because someone said that can't be very nice for him but he actually prefers that to when i use his name so that's what that's all about anyway when william was preschool and the teenager was not a teenager um, we made the decision to put the house on the market and move closer to my husband's parents so we chose a school to put them into and we moved um my the teenager who was not a teenager then across to the feeder school um that we were going to put um uh, him and William into and then that would feed into the comprehensive school we'd chosen then the house was on the market we had interest in it but then a buyer fell through and then obviously we had Bella and then oh maybe we'll think about moving again then it was like oh actually now I'm pregnant with Zara so I was pregnant and it was like oh I can't be doing with moving when I'm pregnant so it just wasn't kind of a convenient time for us to move. So we didn't have our eye on any particular house yet. We hadn't really started looking. Um, and then it wasn't convenient to move. And then we thought, you know what? We've got so many children now. We filled a six bedroom house. Let's just stay put. And then Bella started school and I was doing three school runs a day, which were back and forth and back and forth. And it was just absolutely destroying me i had no time i'm trying i was trying to work around it absolutely impossible when the children want to have friends over or anything like that so we went from okay let's move to actually this house suits us let's stay here and we'll just do the commute to i can't cope with this because it's not just school is it it's like after school clubs and things and one of them will want to do a club and then what am i supposed to do with the others and then it's four trips a day and it's just oh anyway we decided that we would move um, and we started looking around trying to you know figure out how to do the move this house came up and we kind of decided to go for it um, it is I guess a more expensive area so the house is a little bit smaller it's four bedrooms upstairs and one downstairs so it's five bedrooms not six there we are missing one reception room but we will extend that onto the house to make the house bigger and no this house does not have a pool the last house did have a pool but you know you've got to kind of make sacrifices and we've decided that this is the best thing for the children to be closer to their friends now i know what you're going to say if you know if you loved your old house so much why not just move the children to schools and we did consider that but it turns out not one but two of our children have autism and one of them in particular we were told would never be in mainstream school which is of course now nonsense but they are both so happy in the school they're in and we're so thrilled with it and the school is just so amazing. The teachers are so wonderful and they have such lovely friends. I couldn't in good, conscious, in good conscience move them because if I did and then they weren't settled, it would just be terrible. If we, so we just thought the best thing to do was to, to go ahead with the original plan to move. Now the question of what's happening to our old house is at the moment we are still clearing it and getting it you know empty and tidied up and things you know taking tvs off the walls and filling holes and various things like that and um the rest is to be confirmed that's all i can tell you because that's all i know myself right now so i hope that answers some questions um i have discussed it before briefly i believe but um I think a lot of you missed it because I was getting a lot of questions in the comments so I hope that clears that up for why yes we have moved to a smaller house but we think it will be kind of the best lifestyle wise for our family I just really want them to be able to be close to their friends to be able to have friends over because let's face it I couldn't have friends over I didn't have space in the car to bring friends home and things it was just very very difficult being that kind of little bit further away from the school anyway that was one packing cube a full let's uh see how many more we've got because i think we might be running out of 
packing cubes. I may need to order some more. These things are amazing, by the way. I will link these below. We obviously use them when we go away as actual packing cubes, but the thing I have been using them for more than anything lately is under the bed, which I shall show you in a second. So if you haven't seen it before, this is underneath my Ottoman bed with millions of packing cubes. A lot of this is my clothing, um, clothing that the girls have grown out of, well, Bella's grown out of for Zara to grow into. We've got kind of wintry trousers and things over there. At the back, we've got Christmas jumpers. So loads and loads of things stored in here, mainly off-season clothes or clothes that um, some of the children are waiting to grow into as well as at the back we've got my kind of like my work ring light cases and stuff like that just bulky items that we want out of the way so it is looking pretty full in here although this is pretty much empty and this is just spare toiletries and things so although it's looking quite full I reckon I can still cram a whole load more stuff in there because I could actually fit a second layer of packing cubes on top of a lot of these things I'm gonna to have to resort some of this and bring it down onto this lower rail, but that will have to do for now because Miss Zara needs a sleep, don't you? No. So I'm gonna to have to get Something out of your room. From ben and Holly. Something from Ben and Holly. Lie down in your bed and you can have a little nap. Good no, girl. Ben and Holly. No, no, ben nap time. Ben and Holly. Nap time, or you're gonna be very grumpy. Quick, quick. Ben and Holly. Into bed and mommy get your bunny. Okay, we can play with something from Ben Holly after your sleep. Okay. Zara, lie down, please. Not the duvet. You want the soft blankie? Okay. I will go and get your bunny now. I'm not sure why you didn't bring bunny up with you. I don't know. Did you forget her? No, I don't know. Where is she? I think she has to be... Hmm... Maybe downstairs. Okay, I will go and look for her. Zara is now in bed, hopefully going to sleep. She's at that stage where she doesn't really need to nap every day, but she does need to nap a few times a week. Otherwise she ends up trying to put herself to bed on the rug at four o'clock and day napping. And as I'm sure you can imagine, if you've got children of your own, that's a disaster because it mean, then means she won't sleep at night. So, Napping in the day, a scheduled time far better than danger napping close to bedtime. Okay, so that is most of my stuff sorted. I've now got a lot of spare little pink hangers. I was short on these, so that is good. These can go down into my laundry area for drying and hanging up and such. So although this box is still empty and I'm sure I could rejig some of that to kind of double up on some of the layers, it's looking quite full. I reckon we can still fit more stuff in there if necessary. I have managed to squeeze loads in already. I'm just so glad that we got this bed with the extra Ottoman storage. It has been fantastic just for swallowing all the bits and pieces. And it's just meant that my actual wardrobe, so all that is summer stuff because all my winter stuff is under there. If you do want to have a look at a bed for yourself. I have got a code which I shall put on screen now for the place where this bed came from, which is Arista Living. I am delighted with the bed overall, so highly recommend. I shall pop all the details down in the description too. And now to pop away my little folding stool because I am a vertically challenged five foot four and I struggle to reach those high rails. So I have got that folding stool. I've got one upstairs to do the wardrobes and one downstairs to do the kitchen cupboards. Otherwise, I can't reach things. 
Well, Zara's out from her nap. The girls are, well, already have destroyed Zara's bedroom. Zara's now building some sort of train track. Um, William's bedding is out of the dryer. William's actually having a Zoom disco with his friends downstairs at the moment, which is so cute. Anyway, I am going to change William's bed to put his new bedding on as a little surprise for him after he's finished his disco. Let's start again to a place a long time ago when I kissed your lips. I can see the fire that we made just to save us when we try to make up for never letting go. Said the things we promised not to say that we break up just to start our love. What do you think? Amazing! Do you I love, love it. Do you love it? Yeah. Oh, I'm quite pleased with it. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It's actually quite nice soft bedding, especially yeah. since children's bedding. It's not often this sort of nice fabric, but it's lovely. You're looking forward to sleeping in there tonight? Yeah, I think this is the kind of thing that ages, set, ages five years would quite like. Five years plus, you think? If you're, yeah. Well, it's rather lovely, isn't it? I'm very pleased with it. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post more videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. Well done, well. If you want to watch my latest video, it's just across here. And for another video I think you may enjoy from my channel, it's just down here. Bye, everyone.